Ireland versus Japan, Japan versus Ireland, however you want to word it. We're talking TJ Dahoney taking on the IBF World Super Bantamweight Champion, Royosuke Isawa, right here on the 16th. We're talking about it on the Double RT Boxing Show. Thank you for and tuning five, in. Four, three, two, one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT. The double RT, the double RT boxing show with Mr. Ray. Heads up, I do apologize for how many times I screwed up Iwasa's name on this video. Sorry about that. Got it right at the end, but screwed it up all through the video. Iwasa, sorry about that, guys. TJ Dahoney. This is his first coverage right here on the Double RT Boxing Show. The champion, Isawa. This is, I believe, his uh, Iwasa. I'm sorry. Iwasa. This is his second. I believe this is the second time. He's second or third time. The second he's been on the Double RT Boxing Show. So we are familiar with him. The challenger, we learned. Now, this shall be a interesting fight. My first um, my first take on TJ, not the DJ. I got to close my screen. Can't be having no little bugs flying in my house. Uh, flying in the studio, I should say. <laughs> um, my first impression on TJ Dahoney, he is... A bantam weight, a super bantam weight, Irish version of Superman Adonis Stevenson. That's what's when I watch him, that's the style I get. He's very uh so par with the right hand, left hand crazy, left hand crazy. Like I say, it's a little Irish Adonis Stevenson. He doesn't do much, kind of. He hippity hops himself around the ring a little bit and just tries to knock your block off with that left hand. Now, he, both these fighters are southpaws, both of them. So, with a quick breakdown, you got Dahoney being the elder at 31 to the 28 years old of the champion. Five, five and a half, 68 reach for Dahoney. You got the champion at five, seven and a half, so he's got a two and a half inch reach, I mean, height advantage. And a three and a half at 71 and a half, 68 reach advantage. The champion is coming in here with a 25 victories, two losses, 16 KOs. Challenger Dahoney, 19 and 0, 14 KOs. So these both these guys got some previous knockout, and you would think they had the knockout power to change a fight or end a fight. You know, they're both coming on a one, two, three, four, five winning streak plus. You know, they each got like six KOs plus. Well, they, they each got like a five KOs when their last six fights. So they, they've they been coming in here. They're going to come into this fight very confident that they could hurt eat, hurt their opponent and possibly knock them out. They're, they're coming in here very confident. Now, watching this fight, I believe should be a very interesting fight because none of these guys had to me have the footwork or leg move leg ring generalship to really uh outclass one one or the other you know no one's going to come in here razzle dazzle blah, 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 put some hand speed on and then use their foot speed to get away and make the opponent just hit dust no one's going to do that they're going to be either within uh they're, they're going to play the bridge game you know who's going to cross the bridge and who's going to get cracked in the middle trying to cross. They're going to play that gap control. I think that's the type of feet movement, feet um, workmanship these guys got in the legs. They got they ain't, they, they, they ain't got no Manny Pacquiao, Lomachenko, dart in and out, move around you. They ain't got a they ain't got no uh, I guess so. Anyway, they ain't got fast feet or fast legs. They're they're going to be like a Mikey Garcia type fight. You know. 
He saw it was going to be Mikey Garcia trying to play the gap, try, uh, play, uh, keep the timing in the distance. And uh, Dahoney, to me, is going to be coming forward, small steps at a time, flicking out that right hand, trying to crack his ass like, with that left like a Donna Stevenson. So, footwork, the, what I what I seen, I'm, and why I'm going to lean with the feet work to the champion. From what I've seen, Dahoney can't do much back foot. You know, he he's he's he heavily relies on putting the pressure on you and hurting you with his left hand. I, I never seen him go back on his back foot and do any positive stuff. He's always a comfortable guy. Whereas I see he's, he's, uh, Iwasa, um, Iwasa. He could jab forward and he could jab on the retreat. You know, he, he could circle around the ring and jab. So I'm going to go with that small reason I'm going with the champion. Defensively, he's, he, uh, Iwasa, he's an up and down fighter. So he, he gives you a lot of target to hit. You know, he could circle around pretty well, but he doesn't slip punch. Like his main defense is playing the gap, keeping you at the end of his jab. And kind of like just circle, you know, side the side shuffle away, you know, here it's kind of circle thing. Where Dahoney, he, from what I've seen, like I said, I think this is gonna be his biggest competition. So his his defense, he's pretty good at slipping, catching punches, but it seems like he had take punches to give get his off. So I'm not too impressed by Dahoney's defense. Like I said, he's. I'm just not impressed by his defense. I'm going with Isawa. Now, power. Punch for punch. Dahoney delivers his punches to me with more oomph on him. Isawa power comes from uh, throwing the punch and, and having distance at the end. You know, the end of his linky, gen, his arms generate that punch. His, his position and generates his power. As like I said, as for power in the deliverance and the punching itself, I go with Dahoney. Um, punch variation and speed variation—it's gonna be tricky. Cause I think both these guys throw their work at one speed. You know, I don't see Dahoney doing anything. Fabulous, you know, like a whoa, my cat on a Like I said, he to me, if you think Adonis Stevenson is born to watch, then to me, you you might think Dahoney's born to watch. And like I said, it could just be my, my it is it is the double RT boxing show. It is Mr. A talking here. That's what I get of TJ Dahoney. He's just he flicks the right out, nothing too fancy with the right. You know, the jab ain't very effective but that left hand is going to knock you the fuck out and he throws it at the body well he throws it with a left hook like I said he's like a Donaldson he, he mixed that left hook up he, miss it, he mixes the left very well so you don't know if a straight's going to come a hook's going to come a straight to the body a hook to the body but the right you know you, you see, if you circle towards that right you might do some damage on him in a long and last a long night. Where he saw was a one two one two one two a one 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 a one two a one two, you know. And all Japanese, they're like Mexican fighters. They have a great left hook to the body, you know. I think that's a great great few, by the way. Jap Japan and Mexico. I think I, I love watching those two guys fight. Off topic, off subject, but you know I love watching those two countrymen fight Japan and Mexico. Where I think Isawa, he's a one-two machine. Like I said, like a typical Japanese fighter, a good um, left hook to the body. <sighs> this is a tough fight. How can Is um, Dahoney go into the country land of the Rising Sun and walk away champion? Get that pot of gold? I think he's going to have to faint. He's gonna have to faint Isawa into throwing that one to encounter with that strong left, you know? Counter, whether it's like offensive counter or defensive, he's gonna have to counter with that left and put a little bit of, make 
Isawa fight at a, at a faster pace, which I think Dahoney can do. I think he's very capable of winning this fight, making it forcing a faster pace, making Isawa throw at an uncomfortable rate that he's no normally adjusted to, you know, make him force him into a mistake and just crack the shit out of him. I think he's highly capable of doing that. Is he going to do it? I don't think so. I'm going with still champion by a split decision, close back and forth with a couple toss up rounds. I'm going with a uh, Ryosuke Iwasa to uh, eke this out in like a 115, 113, 116, 12 type car, you know. Maybe a little questionable type victory, but I think he's going to eke this one out. And still the champion, Ryosuke Iwasa, right here on the Double RT Boxer Show. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, follow the show on Twitter at the RRTB Show. Hashtag Dragon on the Net, because once you subscribe to the show, because you're entertained, because this is where we spit that fire, that hot shit on the internet, that Dragon on the Net type shit. I appreciate your time and support. RRTB Show. RRTB Show. Follow us on Twitter.